Hey now, Mike Shaman here, and I want to show you guys how to place a back order for a website domain name inside of GoDaddy. So what you want to do is you want to go to buy sell. I'm inside my domains. Okay, well, I'm logged into my account. I'm in my domains. Go to buy and sell, and then go down to back orders and monitoring. Go ahead and click that, and once you do that, it's going to take you to the back orders and monitoring dashboard where you can see all the websites that you have back ordered. Now you will need to have credits in order to do back orders. So I think they cost about $20 or so. And I have this one domain back order right now. I probably will not get it because it's a very old domain and it's popular and it'll probably be going to auction very soon. So I probably won't get that, but I just want to put my back order in for that. What you want to do is you want to go over here to add back orders. If you order a domain on back order and you do not get that domain through back order, your back order, your credit is refunded back to you. So you don't pay anything. You just have one credit in there that you can use on another domain. So that's what happens if you do not get the domain via back order. And now once you're inside the back order area, you want to do a public back order and you want to read the agreement and you want to hit next. And then you want to put the place in. If, if you don't see this, what's going to happen is you need to, um, it'll say like buy a, buy a back order agreement. And so you just go to next and then you put in whatever it is the back order is that you want for the domain. So I'm just doing an example, mike.com, go to next. All right, it's gonna enter your email address there, go to next, then it's gonna ask you for your other information, your address, go to next, that's all standard. All right, number of credits to use one, and go to next. All right, you cannot back order this domain this time, mike.com, okay. But if you were able to back order that domain, it, it would pop up just like this right here, and it's a public back order active, and the registrar here, and the creation date, and the active date there. And I wanted to show you one other thing, is that they send you an email we're attempting to secure weeby.com. So whenever you put the place that back order and that domain drops, they do send you an email saying that they are attempting to secure that domain. I want to show you guys this email. All right, so that's how you place a back order for a domain. If you wanted to find some domains you can back order, go ahead and check out my expired domain names and where to find expired domain names. Check out that video and you can find a whole list of expired domains really fast and just a couple of clicks. So it's really effective to use. And also check out my other domain videos, how to buy a domain in GoDaddy, how to how to sell a domain and I'll see you on the other side.